I respect Matthew McConaughey for using all the political and social capital he has and the positioning that he has as like a brand for good. As much as he's like kind of cringe, ultimately, uh, you know, it, it could be for good, especially if he talks about the necessity for gun control. All right, here's Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Talking about guns and gun control. Secure and safe schools, and we want gun laws that won't make it so easy for the bad I guys to get I'll be back in a second. Guns. So, we know it's on the table. We need to invest in mental health care. We need safer schools. We need to restrain sensationalized media coverage. We need to restore our family values. We need to restore our American values. And we need responsible gun ownership. Responsible gun ownership. We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle to 21. We need a waiting period for those rifles. We need red flag laws and consequences for those who abuse them. These are reasonable, practical, tactical regulations to our nation, states, communities, schools, and homes. Responsible gun owners are fed up with the Second Amendment being abused and hijacked by some deranged individuals. These regulations are not a step back they're a step forward for a civil society and, and the Second Amendment. Look, is this cure-all? Hell no. But people are hurting. Families are. Parents are. And look, as, as, as divided as our country is, this gun responsibility issue is one that we agree on more than we don't. It really is. Look, this should be a, a nonpartisan issue. This should not be a partisan issue. There is not a Democratic or Republican value in one single act of these shooters. It's not. But people in power have failed to act. So we're asking you, and I'm asking you, will you please ask yourselves, can both sides rise above? Can both sides rise? I'm sorry, bro. Uh, I, I know that like this is probably seen as like, uh, you know, profound or whatever, but I just can't fucking take Matthew McConaughey seriously. Oh, God. I wonder if he has a stand like fucking Johnny Depp now, and then they're going to fucking rip my asshole into fucking shreds too. Ay, ay, ay. At this point, it's like, it's not even about the arguments. It's like who's making it and how much fucking their, their stands love them. I'd see beyond the political problem at hand and admit that we have a life preservation problem on our hands. Because we got a chance right now to reach for and to grasp a higher ground above our political affiliations. A chance to make a choice that does more than protect your party. A chance to make a choice that protects our country now and for the next generation. We gotta take a sober, humble, and honest look in the mirror and rebrand re ourselves based on what we truly value. What we truly value. We gotta get some real courage and honor our immortal obligations instead of our party affiliations. Enough with the counterpunching. Enough with the invalidation of the other side. Let's come to the common table that represents the American people. Find a middle, middle ground, the place where most of us Americans live anyway, especially on this issue. Because I promise you, uh, America, you and me, who, we are not as divided as we are being told we are. No. How about we get inspired? Give ourselves just cause to revere our future again. Maybe set an example for our children. Give us reason to tell them, hey, listen and, and watch these, these, these men and women. These are great American leaders right here. Hope you grow up to be like them. And let's admit it. 
We can't truly be leaders if we're only living for re-election. Let's be knowledgeable and wise and act on what we truly believe. Again, we got to look in the mirror, lead with humility and acknowledge the values that are inherent to, but also above politics. We got to make choices, make stands, embrace new ideas and preserve the traditions that can create true, true progress for the next generation. React harder. What do you want me to do? I just like, he's right. But also, what do you mean? Like centrism is the way forward. Like just like reinforcing the same fucking weird attitudes that are not like not really in they're just not real it's not something in the wild there is no centrism i mean we do agree on more than we think we do but people also literally are just so easily fucking propagandized bridge building doesn't fucking mean anything in this situation when the other side won't even recognize the the necessity for a bridge let alone that there's a fucking river there Okay? What do you mean? Like, oh, we got to build a bridge, brother. Like, there's no Republican senator that's going to listen to this fucking guy and be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Oh. It's not even bridge building, boys. It's literally fucking no bridge. No need for a bridge and no, no, no fucking river even. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm actually going to run directly into the water. There's no water there. I will do it. Matthew McConaughey stand here just thinks a bit fucked up. You go out of your way to hate on him. Yeah, well, sorry. Sorry, Matthew McConaughey stands, you know. With real leadership, let's start giving us, all of us, with real leadership, let's start giving all of us good reason to believe that the American dream is not an illusion. So where do we start? We start by making the right choices on the issue that is in front of us today. We start by making laws that save innocent lives and don't infringe on our Second Amendment rights. We start right now by voting to pass policies that can keep us from having as many Columbine, Sandy Hooks, Parklands, Las Vegas, Buffaloes, and Uvaldes from here on. Yeah, I just, wait, where is the good part of it? Uh, Chatter linked me like a better part. I don't think this was as emotional as the way that people were presenting it. As shitty as it is, there might be a Republican voter that listens more when it's a celebrity doing some Hollywood esque speech. No, we are. We are a nation of idiotic hog pieces of shit on the liberal side, also, on the on the Democrat side, obviously, and also on the fucking Republican side. So we're all the same person. We are all gigantic, mouth breathing, uh, neck bearded hog pieces of shit. Ultimately, so yes. Uh, this kind of, of speech could potentially move the needle. It could. In the minds of uh, some of these idiotic baboons. However, you also have to remember that, like, uh, it's not. They're going to forget about it the moment that, like, a new thing happens. The moment that, like, the NRA tells you that, like, uh, you know, Brandon is coming to take your guns and, like, kill your children with a trans uh, death squad at your doorstep and then they're gonna be like oh my god you can't take my guns away they're gonna forget all about matthew mcconaughey and his fucking beautiful speech you know just like you forget about the top of the hour ad break <laughs> this is actually gavin newsom he, do he does look like uh, gavin newsom a little bit it's just funny because like when matthew mcconaughey says the same shit that like gavin newsom would say while looking exactly like gavin newsom people are like oh man he's so great why because he has southern charm uh, he, he looks like a, a more serious person. He looks like he has skin in the game. Uh, and Tristan Marie, thank you for the uh, 10 gifted subs. And that's it. That's like, that's the only difference is the charitability afforded to someone like uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey, even if he's saying the exact same shit. We also met a cosmetologist. Right, she was well-versed in mortuary makeup. That's the task of making the victims appear as peaceful and natural as possible. Okay, this part might be a little bit better. Maybe I saw the only shitty parts, okay? If he's going to humanize the victims further and... and uh, okay, that's, you know, that, that does... A little, we'll casket see. viewings. These bodies were very different. They needed much more than makeup to be presentable. They needed extensive restoration. Why? Due to the exceptionally large exit wounds of an AR-15 rifle. 
most of the body so mutilated that only DNA test or green converse could identify them. Many children were left not only dead but hollow. So yes, counselors are going to be needed in Uvalde for a long time. Counselors are needed in all these places where these mass shooters have been for a long time. I, I was told by many that it takes a good year before people even understand what to do next. And even then, when they become sure, secure enough to take the first step forward, a lifetime's met. Anna and Danilo, 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 the mom and the stepdad of nine-year-old Maite Rodriguez. And my, and Maite wanted to be a... Bro, does the White House not have a microphone? Like, are they unaware? Are they unaware of the existence of microphones? What is happening right now? Like what why is this why is the fucking sound coming from like inside of a tin can? Yeah, the White House took that portion of the bu budget and gave it to the police, brother. They need it. They need to give it to the Capitol Hill PD, brother. What the fuck? The marine biologist. She was already in contact with Corpus Christi University of A&M for her future college enrollment. 9 years old. Maite cared for the environment so strongly that when the city asked her mother if they could release some balloons into the sky... Be very clear, that means they were shot in the face and were unrecognizable. If they'd been shot anywhere else, the parents would have been able to identify them by face. It's obvious to some, but I wanted to point it out. Their faces were unrecognizable. They didn't have faces anymore. Yes, dude. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is what... I mean, that's what the 5.56 does. That's what, an AR, that's what an AR-15 does to you if you get fucking shot in the face. In her memory, her mom said, oh, no, mate, they wouldn't want to litter. Mate, they wore green high-top converse with a heart she had hand-drawn on the right toe because they represented her love of nature. Camilla's got these shoes. Can you show these shoes, please? Wore these every day. Green converse with a heart on the right toe. These are the same green converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that shit? <clears throat> Maite wrote a letter. Jesus Christ. Her mom said if Maite's letter could help... Okay, this part is actually a lot... I mean, like I said, this, this part is significantly better than the, the other shit. That, it's still, like, odd because, it's you know, it's Matthew McConaughey... You know, it might it might have some some moving power, or maybe people will look at this and go, "Fuck you! You're a celebrity. You went uh, you went Hollywood on us." I don't fucking know. I I just I don't I don't think that like I, I have no. <laughs> I just don't have a lot of faith in in America. You know what I mean? And in American society. It's from Uvalde? No, I, I get it, dude. I understand, but it, it still doesn't fucking matter. Dude, I... Uh, fuck. Like... Uh, part of this needs to be tackled at the, uh, at the ground level, too. Um, part of this needs to be tackled at the ground level as well. Because, like, whether we like to admit it or not, it doesn't matter that a tragedy happened in his hometown. No, not from where I'm fucking coming from, dickhead. I'm talking about it doesn't matter in the eyes of, like, people who will say, that's a libtard. Matthew McConaughey went libtard on us. And he's going Hollywood on us. That's what I'm talking about. They're going to say it's disingenuous. Because the goal of Matthew McConaughey speaking like this is to not, like, get the Democrats to fucking uh, agree with him. The Democrats already agree with him. They're on the right side of this issue. Democrats already fucking agree with him. He's trying to convince Republicans on the ground, like actual Republican voters, to be like, all right, we do need to make change. Okay? That's why he's there. What do you think is going on here? No, Democratic voters, chat. Democratic voters, Democratic voters, Democratic voters, Democratic voters. I'm not talking about the fucking politicians. Politicians are nothing. And I was right. Really yeah. Interesting to hear him say there, someone from Hollywood uh, calling to restore our family values in the wake of that mass shooting at the
I mean, there. This is this is. Uh, do you not do you not understand? They're literally saying like Matthew McConaughey was positively calling for a restoration of family values. They're saying that's a that good elementary thing. school in Texas. Real. They're not it's saying this is a bad thing. They're saying it's a good thing. Say there, someone from Hollywood uh, calling to restore our family values. And yeah, they, they're only picking up the restoring our family values bit. Help someone accomplish her dream, but then her death would have an impact. And it would mean her dying had a point and was it pointless that it would make the loss of her life matter. The letter reads, Marine biologist, I want to pass school to get to my dream college. My dream college is in Corpus Christi by the ocean. I need to live next to the ocean because I want to be a marine biologist. Marine biologists study animals and the water. Most of the time I will be in a lab. Sometimes I will be on TV. Gun laws, like gun regulation is such a complicated, it's not a complicated solution. It's a very easy solution, but the political motivation beyond it is way more multifaceted than just like, we don't live in a democracy, although that certainly factors into it. Uh, and that's the reason why we can't have any uh, uh, gun control. Americans are so easily propagandized. Like, American voters specifically are so fucking easily propagandized that, like, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because, like, what Matthew McConaughey is doing is great. And going on Fox News, apparently, he's going on Brett Byer's show. That's wonderful. Talking about family values, sure. Talk about family values, too. But if that's the only message that the Republicans get out of that, that's not going to be great. Family values should only be mentioned as a, as a, you know, softening lube before you put the dick in and the dick being gun control. This is good propaganda, though. Matthew McConaughey is a good vector for this kind of information, this kind of anger, this kind of resentment, ultimately. He needs to, he, he is a good figure for this. He's a good figurehead for this. Okay, this is an isolated incident and truly no one gives a fuck. You could lay out these children on the sidewalk and Dems wouldn't get it done. Republicans would talk about prayers. No one gives a fuck. I don't know why keep, people keep saying that's his hometown, man. Shut the fuck up. I know. It literally says Uvalde native Matthew McConaughey in the Chiron. Why, do you think I don't know how to read? Do you think you are such a special little person who only, only you have been able to pick up on this truth, dude? I know. You're not actually bringing something new to the fucking table, dog. I know. Ava, Ava, Amory, and Lexi. Start by giving all of them our promise that their dreams are not going to be forgotten. We start by making the loss of these lives matter. I respect Matthew McConaughey for using all the political and social capital he has and the positioning that he has as like a brand for good. As much as he's like kind of cringe and as much as he's like talking about like centrism in many ways, ultimately, uh, you know, it, it could be for good, especially if he talks about the necessity for gun control. The necessity for gun control should be the main reason why he's having these conversations to begin with. Like, there is no necessity for fucking family values control. You know what I mean? I'm fine with it when he talks about family values or whatever the fuck or some intangible, un unrelated uh, dumb shit. If he's using that as an opportunity to fucking, like I said, open up the conversation for the actual real uh, ways to deal with it. Um, it's not just gun lobbyists, though. Just how much do gun lobbies pay these politicians? How does it remove their sense of responsibility and guilt so callously? It's not just the gun control, or it's not just gun lobbyists, okay? The NRA's most successful purpose is not necessarily to uh, line up the pockets of politicians. It's that it, their most successful way is to mobilize people on their toys. Guns are toys. They're murder toys. People love their toys. People love their commodities. They have been able to successfully create a culture of like, 
gun ownership being everything, like the most important thing in many instances. The gun is more important than the human itself for so many Americans. It is what they mobilize on. It's what they believe. The NRA could like turn around and fucking tell you like, hey, and the politicians, of course, uh, uh, you know, consistently reinforce those uh, broken, brain broken attitude, attitudes. The NRA works at the behest of the gun manufacturers and the gun manufacturers and the NRA simultaneously have been able to create a gun culture in America that dictates, especially because commodity fetishism is all we have and our commodity purchases are our you know, cultural signifiers. We get a sense of shared perspective, a sense of community from things that we purchase, things that we consume, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe or guns, no different, right? And gun solidarity is really, really, really important for like 50% of the country. Probably more important than, uh, probably more important than like your political allegiances, straight up. So the NRA itself is one institution that needs to be destroyed, certainly, uh, in order for progress to happen. But another, another thing that needs to happen is like to explain to people that like, look, you can be a fucking gun owner. And you can want to fuck and suck a gun. You can want to shove an AR-15 in your asshole, okay? If that's what you want to do, you fucking sick, twisted, perverted freaks. If that's what you want to do, that's fine, okay? But you need to get a uh, license. You need to get a license for it. You need to advocate for licenses for it, okay? That's it. I love guns. I love shooting guns. I'm not at the level where I, like, you know, have tailored my entire personality around, uh, uh, you know, shooting guns. Like many of these fucking weirdos have, right? I'm not a fucking gun pervert. I don't want to suck and fuck a gun. But I do enjoy shooting guns, and I think guns are fun, and they're cool, okay? But they're still very serious. They're a murder machine. And I think that it is an understandable, desirable step towards safety to advocate for some level of gun control. Then go to a gun range? What do you mean? I have many times. I've, I've gone to the gun range with the stream. I've shot guns on stream multiple times. I've shot guns off stream. I've shot guns on stream. I love guns. But I still think the level of safety and consideration for what is, the, what is a tool for murder is not where we're at right now with our current level of protection and safety and security. That's perhaps the most disgusting part of this problem. The broader analysis is that we have nothing to stand for. We have no political allegiances that are meaningful. We have no, we have no solidarity. We are alienated both from our labor, but also alienated in the social sense from one another. And our only sense of community comes from our commodity purchases. And that can become a mobilizer. And Republicans use that as a political... Uh, mobilizer and guns have become so much more than just a commodity that has defined your personality. Now they make it like a political movement. Now they turn it into a way of existence, a way of life. And if you want to do that, that's fine. It's weird. Okay. And that kind of cultural shift is not going to happen in the absence of material conditions changing. Okay. Going against that is not going to happen. That is simply a distraction that uh, is helpful to uh, reassert, reinstitute the capitalist hegemonic attitudes, okay? Focused on being a gun guy and a gun pervert, you're not focused enough on unionizing your workplace. You're not focused on, like, you know, forcing your politicians to do your bidding. It's a really good distraction and, a, and an identity point for so many conservatives, Guns are more popular than the Republican Party is, okay? And the Republican Party recognizes that, so they use it and abuse it. The NRA recognizes that, so they use it and abuse it. And they motivate people. They put the fear of God into people, and they say, listen, it's not just about inconveniencing. They are, they're going to fucking take your guns away, and you're going to be in fear for the rest of your life. Black people are going to come into your neighborhood and, like, kill you, okay? Immigrants are going to come into your neighborhood and, like, fuck your daughters if you don't have a gun. But then these people get fucking riled up. So what you have to do is, in the absence of like changing that cultural attitude, which is not going to happen, right? Because it's way too successful uh, as, a, as a means of distraction. You have to get gun owners to be like, listen, bro, 
But I mean, this is crazy. You know, we, we should have licenses. I mean, that's wild. You have a license for a car, you should be able to have a license for a gun. Yeah, it'll be a little inconveniencing, but ultimately you will personally uh, avoid additional child murders from happening. Because as it stands currently, Republicans care more about uh, their, their own personal inconvenience uh, than, than they do about avoiding additional children being murdered at schools. That's just the reality. Okay? That's just the truth. It's just the fucking truth. They literally, it, it, the moment that you stand in front of reasonable gun safety measures, we're not talking about like wholesale ban. We're not talking about like the fucking government coming in, breaking your door down and like stealing your guns from you or anything like that. We're talking about license, registration, and a demonstration of safety, okay? For a tool that is for murder. And keep your fucking guns. You can suck and fuck your guns. As long as you showcase that you know how to properly handle them, you have proper safety measures in, in, in place, and you can undergo a mental evaluation and psych check. And this will not solve all of the violence. Clearly, there are still tools to do violent things with. However, this will make it a lot harder to do violence, and that is the appropriate thing to do. That is at the basis of every fucking you know, uh, negative freedom that's at the basis of every rule and regulation is adding additional layers to make it as hard as possible for random people to be able to fucking do violent things. And when I mention stuff like this, I don't know. I, it just like blows my mind that people still are like, nope, not happening. It's, it's very discouraging. It's kind of crazy. That like people are not even down for a reasonable level of gun safety and and uh, a reasonable level of of uh, regulation restriction. Thank you. 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 Thank you.